So he came back with such an amount of money and he has been complaining there is no money. Now he is here counting the money so that I will not see it. Hmm. It's all gone. Still awake? Yes, I'm still awake. I thought you'd slept. What are you doing? I'm um, doing some calculation. I see. Calculate very well. It's okay. I'll join you soon. Ah, no, my dear. <laughs> you don't need to bother yourself. Take your time and calculate very well. Okay? You can even sleep here, no problem. to give me money for I mean to complete the baby things I couldn't buy in the market the other day. What about the one thirty thousand naira I gave to you? One thirty thousand. Yes. Ha. That's a forgotten issue. How? The baby things are very expensive in the market. So I couldn't buy the baby's bed. So I just I don't need much this time. Just fifty thousand naira. Vera you are very extravagant. Eh? You are so extravagant. Vagant. No, no, come again. Esther, what? Vagant. I'm extravagant because I asked you to give me ordinary 50,000 naira to buy your, your own baby's thing, so. Eh? Why are you always disgracing yourself in this house? Each time I ask you for little, little money like this. Why? Do you know what? I don't have money to give to you now. I will not do it. You're a big liar. As your child. Mm. Yes! You think I didn't see you last night? I saw you counting huge amount of money. If it was about me, but I already seen you. Yes, I saw you. So give me the money. So every night you'll be meandering to see who is counting money. Give me the money. What is it? You know I'm pregnant, I don't have strength to do this. Or that's what to hurt our baby. Give me the money. Then respect yourself. Stop this. Give me the money, baby. Can I pass, please? You know you're pregnant. Can I pass? Huh? Excuse me. Give me the please. You know I'm pregnant. Do you want to hurt our baby? Give me the money. That money you were counting. Got that fifty or hundred thousand. Give me. I, I, just I, you, you I the oh, the baby. Sorry, the baby. baby. What? The baby! Then respect yourself. Give me the money. Respect yourself. Give me the money. Even the baby yeah. needs the money. Eh? Give me the money. It's okay, when I come back. Eh, eh, no. Oh. You, you, you will hurt this baby. You will hurt this baby. Give me the money. The way you said, yellow me and I like, yeah. Yeah, I'm pregnant. You know, I mean, you're pregnant already, I got. Before I knew it, he pushed me and walked away. Yes! Because I asked of 50,000 Naira only. Only, oh! Yes, mom, he has money. He came back with huge amount of money yesterday. Mom, I have not even bought my baby's things, bed and other things. I have not even bought them. Really? Don't worry, I'll tell your father. Okay, mom. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. 
the Zog. I will sit here and wait for him. Let him go and come back. Vera just called me. I hope she's alright. She told me that Izogo has refused to give her money for shopping for herself and the baby. Why? That he doesn't have money. Moreover, that um, Vera is extravagant. Extravagant? My daughter, okay. extravagant? Mm. How dare he make such a derogatory statement against my daughter? Call him. Call him and warn him. Make it clear to him that Vera will not give birth in a cheap hospital. It has been one problem after another since this young man married my daughter. I'll, 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 I'll call him. So you reported me to your parents that did not give you 50,000 naira, but you failed to tell them that I've already given you, you that I know, 130k, 130,000 naira. Is that why you're worried? Why, why, why are you treating me like this? Does it mean you don't just care about me? Do you care about me? I'm asking you, do you care about me? You're just pretending. You only care about your mother and your sister. They're the ones you care about. Why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? I've been taking care of you and your family. Now tell me, what have I done for my family? For my people since I married you? Say it. No, go ahead and say it. That is all you see all the time. What have your people done for me since you married me? Tell me. You know what? You're just an ingrate. Eh? I blame myself. I don't blame you. You're the one that is an ingrate. You should be happy you got married to somebody like me. Fear again. Fear again. Where are you going to? Come back here and exchange words with me. Useless stingy man. Your meat buy cars or for their for their wives, but you umba ordinary fifty thousand naira, two hundred thousand naira, ching go ching, you cannot give to me. Useless, shameless, stingy man, idiot. Things are getting worse every day. My wife's extravagant spending is seriously affecting my capital. Her mother threatened that I must take her to the Kingsway Hospital for her delivery. Kingsway Hospital is the costliest hospital in this town. Now my goods in the shops are almost finished and my bank account are my bank account almost empty.
What is it? Why is your face like that? She came and took the food I was eating. Who? Your wife. Why? Where is she? Is she back home? Yes. 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 I am back. Why did you take away the food that I was eating? Why is she eating my food in my house? I don't understand. By the, what is she doing here? She has every right to be here because she's my sister. And this is my house. I don't need her here. Let her leave. Very. why are you so wicked to my people? Why? Wicked? <laughs> I've not seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. Let her go! Go and get her food. What? Go and get that food here. Hmm. Instead of me to give her that food, I'll throw it to the dogs or point inside waste bin. Why are you being so wicked? Why? Let her go. This is my house. I don't need her here. Let her go. Oh, Come on, eat him. What's really happened? Imagine the way she snatched the food from me. I wonder what you must have done to your wife. It's okay, just disregard whatever she did. Okay? I will talk to her. What about my food? I'm very hungry. See, I don't want Mama to hear about this. Okay? About your food. I'm going to give you money. You go down and check any fast food and get something for yourself to eat. I should get food outside yeah, when there's food in the house, brother. Go get something for yourself, okay? Just do what I ask you to do and don't argue with me. Selfishness, happiness, that's what she gives. No happiness, only sadness. Do not allow your husband take you to any other hospital apart from King's Wings. Did you hear me? I've heard you, Mom, but I doubt if he will listen to me. I wish you would come around and pressurize him. As soon as you feel the first signs of labor, as I told you, do not hesitate to alert me. Okay? Well, then as for his sister, nobody knows her mission then. Be watchful. Be very careful. Hmm? Okay. Don't mind your husband. Take good care of yourself. Um, <laughs> I have to be on my way now. And mm. um, you will deliver like the evil. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so my regards to Father when he comes back. He will hear. Okay. Take good care of yourself, okay? I will. All right, my dear. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Isogo, I will not allow you to joke with my daughter's life. So this is the new style. My husband has been getting you food from the fast food since you came here. Auntie, what is it now? I will give you a dirty slap if you ask me that stupid question again. Look at you. Do you know how much it costs him to buy you food every day from the fast food? Oh, I see. You are here to squander his money. That's not true. You are still talking. Hmm? You are still talking. Dude. Let my husband come back. Not to worry. Till he comes back. Dude. 
If I ask him for money now, he will tell me, I don't have money. But he will have the one to be buying you fast food. Okay, just collect this thing now. For the last time, my berry, did you enter my kitchen? Yes. What for? I was looking for a knife. So you entered my kitchen. Don't try it again. I don't want to see you this inch close to my kitchen again before you poison my food. Idiot. That reminds me. If you are waiting for my husband to give you money, <laughs> you will wait and you will get old. If you know what is good for you, pack your rags and go back to the village. Go back to the village. Do you hear me? It's you. We are eating fast food. Pack your things and go back to the village. Yo. Now, get your smelling self out of my living room. Get out! Auntie, I'm going nowhere. This is my brother's house. What did you just say to me? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. For the last time, I bury. Get your stupid smelling self out of my living room. Now! I said I will not leave. <laughs> How dare you? Have you gone nuts? How dare you challenge me in my house? How dare you challenge me in my house? How dare you? Can you imagine this, 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 this idiot, this smelling thing, challenging me in my own house? Fool. Eberi, what happened? I was, brother, I was watching the movie when she came out and off the television. Then she asked me to get out. I told her we not, and she slapped me. Vera. Hey, 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 please. Okay. Okay, question and answer. Eh? Huh? Age mates. Please. Vera, I will not take this from you. Else what? What will you do? Beat me because of this idiot. Go ahead. Try it. You're really pushing me. If I push you, what will you do? You're really pushing me so hard. What will you do if I push you? Beat me now. Beat me. Go ahead and beat me. even talk to his wife. She will never go free from this. Yes, mom. I'm not feeling anything again. Yes. I will notify you as soon as uh, it starts again. Hmm. His sister is still here. Oh. Hmm. 
He has been buying food from fast food since she came here. Okay, mom. I've heard you. Take care of yourself. Bye. Hey. My baby. <laughs> My baby will soon arrive. <laughs> Eh ouais. Wow. Almost an hour he was called. Up to now he is not yet back. Now I know how he has been maltreating my daughter. Anyway, thank God I'm here. He will come and meet me. Okay. This is when you're coming back. Where is she? Where is who? Eh? Almost an hour that we called you to come and take her to the hospital. Look at when you're coming. I, uh, anyway, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why are you telling me you're sorry? Am I the one that is going to the hospital? Uh, okay, let me keep... Where are you going now? I want to keep this sense inside. Who can give me this thing? You don't have any sense of urgency. Useless man. Hey! Who the matter do you Her mother was on my neck because her daughter's labor lasted. She was shouting and screaming, telling everybody that I want to use her daughter for money ritual. Your mother-in-law said hmm. that? She nearly attacked me, if not for the intervention of the nurses and the doctor. Hey. Why? What? What is wrong with that woman? Why is your mother-in-law behaving like this? I don't know. I don't know. My wife was later booked for a cesarean oppression. What? You mean she went for CS operation at Kingsway Hospital? Yes. Who advised you to take your wife there? Who her told mother, you to take her there? Her mother insisted we must go there. And she was there when I made the first payment of 200,000 naira. Now tell me, Odogu, how much did you spend at last? <laughs> My brother, I finally spent 332,000. 300 what? And 32,000 before my wife was discharged from the hospital. As I'm talking to you now, Ikobi, I have nothing left in my house. Oh my God. Oh my brother, I feel your pain, okay? What about your sister? She went back to the village. She cannot stay with them. Oh wow, okay. Um, you know what? Let's drive to my house. I have something very important I want to discuss with you. You got like it, yeah. You like it. Let's go. What kind of a man is this wrong? A man who cannot take care of his family. He went to the market since morning and up till now. He is not yet back. Hey! Yeah. Mom. Does it mean that my husband is not yet back? I've not seen him. He's all gone. Izogo has started again. Are you sure he really went to the market? Because I saw the way he left here. My problem now is that I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. Maybe you'll go and drink tea again while we wait for him. Izogo is stepping on my toes. He is stepping on my toes. More tea in the morning. I'll drink tea in the afternoon. Tea, tea at night. My mum won't want na tea. He is stepping on my toes. Oh, 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 oh,
I will wait for him here until he comes back. I can't drink any tea again. Mama, I was shocked when Buddha told me how much he spent at the hospital. Hey! That Vera has killed my son. I don't know if she wants to render him useless. What wrong did he do by marrying her? Mama, it's brother that brought the victim upon himself. He refused to listen to you. Mm -mm. Don't see it like that. He's your only brother. Eh? He's my only son. It is that his wife. Everything is on her. She's responsible for everything happening around here. Mama. My only happiness is that brother finally gave me the 20,000 naira I asked for. Before that very day. If not, hmm, you know your son now. Even one naira, I wouldn't have seen anything from him. God. Hmm. Bless my son. Help him. Help him. Uh, Mama, let me go there. Why? Why have this things happening to my son? Why will he be going through this just in, 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 in the name of marriage? What? Sorry, I've not been here since the last time I came. I've not been around. Okay, this one you are here. My uncle told me you've accepted to take 15,000 euro. That's true. Yes. Thank you. I came with the money. Okay. Take this for your transportation. I know you're coming from a very far place. So, thank you very much. Thank you. God oh, bless you. Okay. Thank you. Are you starting immediately? Yes. Okay. Come inside. Okay. <laughs> What wrong have I done to you? Eh? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. You still have the mouth to ask me what it is. Eh? I will not allow my daughter to die here of hunger. It's not possible. What have I done? The question should have been, what have you not done? How much did you give your wife this morning? I gave her money to go to the market and buy whatever she wants to buy. 10,000 naira. And you're proud of it. In echo. Uh -huh. eh? Is 10,000 naira not enough for her to buy whatever she wants to buy in the market? What can 10,000 naira buy in the market these days? Eh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you. Huh? I will not allow my daughter and her child to die of malnutrition in this house. It's not possible. Mama. It's wrong for you to dictate for me how to run my home. It's wrong. I don't blame you. I blame myself for even giving you my precious daughter to marry. I don't blame you at all. Your daughter is the reason I am broke today. Ngiwa, <laughs> you are just a lazy man. You're just looking for who to who to blame. Stop looking for anyone to blame. Iti e iti. You are lazy. Which brain box? Iti. 
Iti wo iti wo. Ke wundi malawi. Abasam. Stop blaming my daughter. Vera does not have a hand in your poverty. Nonsense. You're just lazy. Iti lazy. What does this woman want? Eh? You want me dead? Eh? Plus you, plus your daughter. Sadness, no fallenness, every day, wickedness, selfishness, and happiness. It's what she gives, no happiness, only bitterness, no fallenness, every day. Heaven knows I try to make it work, but it seems she never cared for me. Let's go. Let's go inside. Uh, we're home. Uh, where exactly is this place? Uh, come on. I told you we were going to my house. This is my house. With my mother and my younger sister, Derry. It's okay, come on, let's go inside. Inside where? Please. House. I thought you have a big house. I don't like this place. I'm irritated with the environment already. Vera, why are you embarrassing me in front of my people? Embarrassing you because I said the truth? I don't like this place. I feel irritated. Please take me out of here. It's okay, I, I I am sorry, okay? Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Please, stop. please stop it, please. Take me out, please. Vera, you're embarrassing me. I don't care. You know where I'm coming from. I said, I'm sorry. Come on, see my father's please. house, right? No. Please, please, take please, me out please. of here. Take me out of here. Where is that girl from? Mashi from Amogu village. Her parents? Mm, her parents are still alive and they are good people. Hmm. That girl has bad attitude and cannot make a good one. Mama, forget what you saw out there. She's a good person. She's not always like that. <laughs> it's all. What I saw in that girl out there is bigger than this house put together. Therefore, you will not marry her and cannot marry her. Mama. I love her and she loves me too. It's okay, put love aside and face reality. Open your eyes to the truth of the situation. A bad wife is an instrument of destruction. Mama. And a death trap to her husband. Mama, she's a good person and she will make a good wife. Brother. She said I should call you. Ah. Yeah, she's ready okay, now. tell her I'm coming, eh? She said you should come immediately, else she will leave you and go. Hey! Look at it. We just spoke about her and it's happening already. Hey! What is this still doing there? Izogu! 
Izogu! Izogu! Why are you standing here? Take me out of here, please. What is it? What is the problem? Huh? Take me out of here. Now. See, Mama is complaining about you already. It's like I care. I don't care. Let her complain. Anyway, it's okay. Hmm? By the way, why is she complaining? What did I do? I said it's okay. Can we go inside now? Right. Do you know what? Mama prepared a delicious meal for us. A delicious meal? Yes. And this rat hole? Oh, please. Vera, Vera, stop it. Please. This is my house. Take me out of here. This place irritates me already. Take me out, please. Please. You know where I'm coming from. Take me out of here. It's okay. Come on, let's go inside. We will leave first thing tomorrow morning. Are you joking? Like I'm going to pass the night here? Oh, please. Take me out. You know what? You can take me to the city. Come back and be with them. Problem solved. For now, take me Sorry, I don't have cola, but I hope you manage this. Hmm? I've love told you not to bother yourself. Huh? <laughs> How can you come to my house without taking anything? I'm going to sleep. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, you are welcome. Um, your mother told me that you came home the other time with a very beautiful lady you intend to marry yes of course that's true but you know i couldn't just get here before we went back mm. and another one is that we've already fixed a date for our traditional marriage is you you've done what uncle i fixed a date ah, is how can you do such a thing where your mother said you will not marry that young lady she she told me everything about uh, that lady, and I share the same view with her. Huh? Uncle, there is no going back on that. I've done all the necessary arrangement with her parents. You've done the arrangement with her parents without involving your own people. And then move to him, eh? Uncle, let's not just go there, please. Izuogo, don't be in a hurry to marry that young lady. Just go home. Back at Ishigomi. Eh? Our people said, Opa no Okoburu, nti chiriye. That's what she gives, no happiness, only sadness, no followness, every day, wickedness. Selfishness and happiness is what she gives. No happiness, only bitterness, unfollowness. Every day, heaven knows I try to make it work, but it seems she never cared for me. Happiness is now a history. Tears and sorrow is what she gives to me. Heaven knows I try. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Leave him! Leave him! Go and put it. Come Let back and carry this one. What? 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 Vera, no, no. What is going on? Go and bring 
baby. Eh? Baby. Go and bring baby. Baby to where? Eh? Don't mind him. Who's baby? Yeah. Mama, tell me. Mama. What is it? I am going to push you down. Push me now if you don't sleep in the cell today. Mate, you know it's not. Eh? I'm... Try it. Mama, don't block. Okay. You know. What are you. Chief, she has not been picking my calls for three days now. I don't know what I've done to her. He's wrong. Yes, Chief. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. You do not know the reason my wife brought Vera and the baby to my house? Chief, I have no idea and that is why I'm here to find out. My wife told me you hardly feed my daughter and the baby, two of us. Chief, the thing is that things are hard for me these days. I don't, I, I don't even go to market anymore. The, the goods in my shop are finished. And Vera is aware of that. Vera is aware of what? My husband, what is this fool doing in my Good day, ma'am. Sit down first and hear what he has to say. He doesn't have anything to say. Now get out of my house. Eh? What is eh? What is eh? You want me to push you out? Respect yourself and get out! I don't ever want to see you here again. You should start dancing. Get out! He said he has nothing left in his shop. Mm -hmm. How is that my business? He is a man. Let him face his responsibilities. I don't even know how we got to this point. I'm extremely disappointed at his work. I never knew it would come this way. I'm not playing. I'm serious about it. I don't even know how we allowed him, allowed him to marry our daughter. My daughter, allow me to come up with Mangole. Let me be happy for my God and with my God. Let me appreciate him for his faithfulness. Who am I that God is remembering me? Eh? Thinking for me. Look at what he provided for me. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Hey! Look at it. Full bag of rice. One carton of noodles. See oil. Hey! Eh? Look at it. Look at it. One full bag. It's not the one you tell me, Mama, I'm not full. Oh. Cook more. Bring more. What do we buy? Oh? You must be taking this one cup to two cups. This one and that one. Now we have a full bag. Can eat it as anything. Thank you. Hey, Chebe la mobia, my name is Lanya. Oh, Chebe la mobia, my name is Lanya. Oh, Chebe la mobia, my name is Lanya. Oh, Chebe la mobia, my name is Lanya. This one you are rejoicing, dancing and singing. What happened? Use your eyes and do Christmas for yourself. Take a look. See, look at it. No dose. Hello, no for you. One bag of rice. All for me, Felicia. All for me. Eh? For Felicia. Did the Zog come back? Which is Zog? He's talking about which Zog now. See the man. <laughs> it is a belly. Huh? A belly bought uh -huh. everything. A belly bought all these food items for you. Yes! Hey. Yes, so please help me thank. Uh, let me dance with hey. you. Chile, <laughs> 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 
If you will not look for it too long, God will just give it to you. He said, yeah. Good husband. He said, Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. 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 you can sit and enjoy. Uh -huh. huh? hey, you rice, you see. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were back off it. It could be I'm confused and I'm tired. I don't know what to do. There is nothing left in my shop. I cannot believe it, my brother. I just can't believe it. Do you know that my wife and her mother are the cause of my problems? I don't know if they ever want any good thing coming out from me. Don't worry about that. Okay, you'll be fine. Hmm? You'll be alright. Don't just let that bother you. It could be how. How? Oh, it's over three months now my wife left here for her father's house and she never bothered to come back. She wanting about women. It's normal with them, but trust me when I tell you your wife will come back to you someday. She will have a repentant heart and she will crawl running back to you. Ikobi, I love Vera so much. I love her I know you with do. all my heart. But what I don't understand is why she's treating me this way. Is it a crime to love? No. It's not a crime to love, my brother. Love is a beautiful thing. Then, why is my own different? Why? Listen, bro. In when we are. Don't allow things like this bother you. You'll be fine. Hmm? Just be a man. Do go okay. Papaya. In when we are. Stick in GP, everything will be fine. Call me my water. Or I be mad. I don't understand. See, your wife will crawl back to you. Just let her be. She'll come back to you. I'll give me life. She'll come back to you. Chief. You sent for me. Yes. See that I want us to talk. I hope all is well. It's about our daughter Vera. I think it's time she went back to her husband's house. Why? I thought we agreed she would stay here for some time. Yes. But after giving it a consideration, I thought it is better. She is in her husband's house. She is better off there. Which husband? Listen. This is three months and some days she has been here with us. And she can't continue like that. Chief, it is better she stays here with us than going back there and dying of hunger. You know me. I will never allow that to happen. I'll give her some money. But she has to go. People have started talking. Let them talk. No matter what you do, people must surely talk. So, let them talk. Vera and her baby are very important to me. Very precious to me. Same with me. Oh, But she has to go. Considering my image and personality. She has to go. If I don't like this your decision, I don't like it at all. There's no two ways to it. She has to leave. I mean, um, call Vera for me. Mom, did you see who came here this morning? No, I did not. Who was that? Father's friend, Mr. Oko. Oh, I know him. He was there three days ago. Yes. 
Daddy is not always happy each time Mr. Oko visits us. Because he always wants to know why Vera is still in this house. I don't understand. He wants to know why Vera has not gone back to her husband's house. Uh, is this sick in the head? Eh? I don't understand why people should not mind their business. What concerns them inside that one now? Eh? <sighs> no. Anyway, your father wants to see Vera. Same as you. I told you that he's not happy. Your father also wants her to go back to her husband's house. But let her come back first. What kind of miserable life is this? Everywhere I've been to for help, you did nothing. I can't secure a loan from the bank because of collateral. I have sold everything I have. The man that wanted to give me keke on higher purchase gave me a very high price. Hmm. Slept well. Mm -hmm. And I believe you slept well too. No, I couldn't. The thought of your brother flooded my heart all night. I had him in my mind. I was so restless, I couldn't sleep. I am so worried about him. I have told you several times to stop bothering yourself over him. Hmm? He will come back anytime he chooses to. He's my son. He's my child. Please do me a favor. Woman. Use that your phone and call him so that I can know how he is doing. But that is doing fine wherever he is. You just have to relax yourself. Yeah, but I'm not asking for too much. Just call him on the phone so that I can hear his voice. Is that too much to ask? Okay. I've heard all you said. I'll call him. Hmm? If that will make you happy. Eh, but for now, Mama, I don't have that time. I'll call him when I recharge. Hey, but stop now. Just call him on the phone. Mama, you have to trust me now. You don't trust me again. I'll call him. Oh, Just relax. When I have charged my phone later, I'll call him. Hmm? You have to shoot for me. I've not said that's my hair. Thank you. Hey. Hey! Every time my mother will be bothering herself over someone who doesn't even care if she exists or not. Oh, huh? I'm not calling anybody. Oh.
Hmm. He could be supposed to call me this morning. I wonder why he has not called. Get this food from? From the kitchen, of course. From the kitchen? Yes. From the kitchen. You entered my kitchen. I'm not Don't eating. try it again. I'm not eating since morning. And so? Give me that food, please. I'm hungry. Please. Hungry kill you there. You see that hunger? It will kill you. You are very, very stupid. For your mind now, you think I'll just prepare fried rice and chicken for you. Eh? Go to the fast food and buy food. Vera. Eh? Vera. Hmm? Try not finish that meat. I should not feel yeah. it. Hmm? If I get it in my kitchen again, it's a regular poison. Vera, 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 bring that food here. My baby. Honestly, you are the sweetest thing that has ever happened to me. Oh. Come on, Livinus. Stop mm -hmm. flattering me. Flatter you. <laughs> are you serious now? You can see it. You know I'm telling the truth. Huh? All right. Thank you. Now you're talking. <laughs> now you are talking. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, I'm really missing you. So, when am I seeing this beautiful face again? I don't know, but you know what? Mm -hmm. We can always talk on the phone. That's true, that's true. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, just a minute. Okay. My V. This is Oh, keep it. <laughs> Anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so, yes, I should. No, I'll be on my way. I pick a taxi. You don't need to drop me. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm very sure. Don't bother yourself, okay? No problem. <laughs> Just give me a call, okay? I will. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. Bye. <laughs> Damn it. She is one hot chick. Wickedness, selfishness, happiness, that's what she gives. No happiness, only sadness, no problems. Every day, wickedness, selfishness. Mommy, you should be back, okay? Mommy, you should be back. Mm. Okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Where has Vera gone to? Eh? She will never tell me where she's going to. This. Where have you been? Uh, I went out. Sorry, baby. Mommy's here. You've not answered my question. I said, where have you been? And I said I went out. Do you want to start another quarrel this afternoon? Excuse me. It's okay, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the third time you're going out without telling me where you're going to. Vera. Vera. It's almost three days to the landlord's deadline. How is that my concern? I thought you called me here to tell me that you have gotten a new place. 
I've decided we relocate to the village. Hmm? No, 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 no. Come again. I said we are relocating to the village. You are who? Hey, mama. Listen, Mr. Man, I am not going to the village with you. I will not. But you see, we are not staying there forever. We we'll still come back to the city once things get better. I don't care. I will not go to the village with you. <laughs> 